Mary Sarah of Waterfall Yoga, and today I'm going to teach you the Ayurvedic wave. I learned this uh, just after my teacher training with one of my favorite teachers of all time. Uh, she teaches a lot of Ayurvedic style classes, which of course is a huge part of yoga therapy. So I've always been uh, really excited to do this practice. Every day in almost all of my classes, I really enjoy how it makes me feel like uh, my body can move more freely and it really opens up, especially on days that I have a lot of tightness, tension, or pain. Now, I'm going to teach you several different positions that you can do this in. And in fact, I've had my teacher teach me to do this in a lot of yoga positions, period. And it's really a, a great practice. I'd recommend you to do it uh, during the day, anytime you need a quick break, or especially in the morning when you're waking up, if you have a morning practice, maybe even in the evening before you go to sleep. So Ayurvedic wave. I'm doing it right now from a seated position. I'm just in a regular folding chair. My ankles are underneath my heels. My knees are, uh, sorry, my knees are over my ankles. Knees over the ankles, lengthen your spine, sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, so we can tune into the breath first. And then we're gonna start to move in a three-dimensional holographic way. So the beauty of this is that there's no wrong way to do it. As you breathe, you're moving in that three-dimensional range of motion. And you're finding all of the knots all of the areas of tension that you feel in your body. Absolutely no wrong way to do it. Just kind of play with it, see what feels good. It gives you a chance to breathe and observe your body in movement without having to be in any specific form or any specific shape. Noticing where the areas of stuckness are in the body or stickiness. And then encouraging the breath to go there so that you feel that free flow of energy. The head, the shoulders, the torso, maybe you're moving your hips around a little bit from that seated position. So again, anybody can do it. And then when you're ready, after you've done several breaths through, relax back to your tall seat, observe and notice how you feel. Awesome, okay. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it from a couple of different positions. Let's say that you're able to get down on the floor um, and you want to be able to, let's say you're able to get down on the floor and you want to be able to do this from a kneeling position. Maybe you want a little extra padding, a blanket or something underneath your knees. You're going to bring your hands down onto the floor, wrists underneath your shoulders, knees under hips, nice flat back. So starting from tabletop or all fours position and then breathe in, let your belly expand. And as you breathe out, start the movement. So there may be a little more freedom here to move three-dimensionally. You might come back towards child's pose through that Ayurvedic wave. And of course, if you find areas of tension, maybe you move that same way, that same pattern through it a few times. Again, no wrong way to do it, just breathe and move your body freely. I kind of like to think of it as a dance. It feels so good to be able to move without having to stay in the confines of some structure or shape. And after you've done that five or 10 breaths, maybe just sit back on your heels or find a cross-legged seat and notice your breath. Now, we can also do the same pose 
sitting in this kneeling position or in a cross-legged seat. Maybe just start your practice lengthening the spine. And then same thing, we can move here from the floor. Moving in ways that feels good to you and try it like that. Return back to your tall seat. Always take time to observe and notice and allow your breath to be in full awareness and attention. All right, so we can also practice this from a lot of other yoga positions and it's kind of fun to uh, give it a try. So hopefully my mic pack will uh, stay in place and we're going to come into downward facing dog. Now obviously if downward facing dog is not a pose that you're able to do safely, then just skip it. Find another way that works for you. There's so many options in yoga and everybody can do it. So I'm going to come into downward facing dog. As you come into your down dog, you might pedal your feet or change it up with that Ayurvedic wave. So you could start to move three-dimensionally. Now in downward facing dog, it can be a lot harder. It feels a lot stickier for me, especially uh, right now, morning practice, some tight hamstrings and IT band. But you can move around in that three-dimensional way, giving down dog a new outlook, a new uh, shape or form. Maybe bending your elbows, your knees, shaking your head. So there's another option for you, downward facing dog. Stand or sit for a few moments in your breath. Another one I really love to practice it in is uh, warriors and triangles. So I'll observe, uh, I'll give you a chance to observe that. So I've got a couple blocks here I'm going to utilize so that I don't have to come quite so deep in the pose since I haven't um, been in, uh, in my yoga practice yet this morning. So my right toes are facing blocks. I have two blocks stacked. I'm going to lean forward towards those blocks, keeping my right leg straight. My left foot would be parallel to the short end of a yoga mat if I was using one. And I'm going to um, I'm going to bring those blocks behind my ankle and set up for triangle pose. So I have two blocks stacked, one on the low setting, one on the high setting, and I'm going to turn the right toes towards uh, the wall, and the left toes are going to be parallel to what would be the short end of your mat if if I was using one, and then I bring the right hand to the block. So as I do that, I want to keep length through my right side, and then I can let the left arm come up. And as I do this and lengthen through my shoulder, I'm taking that triangle shape, Trikonasana. Now we can start to do the Ayurvedic wave here. So we can move, again, three-dimensionally. Now, a little less movement. But you can still feel that flow of energy there. Maybe I bend my knee and straighten it a little bit. Maybe I even move that arm around in some way to open up the shape, to bring a little more fluidity to it. So you can play with it, see how it feels to move in that way. Beautiful. Then let the arm extend back up towards the ceiling. Pause in stillness. Gazing down straight ahead or up, whatever feels most comfortable in the neck today in this moment. And then, of course, what you do to one side, you'll want to do to the other. So maybe give this a try at home, a triangle pose, and see how it feels. Thanks for practicing with me. Namaste. Mm -hmm.